Hi guys, welcome back to part two of designing an iOS app using Python and Kivi. So in the first part, I talked to you guys about the design that I've decided upon using my Google Slides uh, page here. So now we'll get into the actual architecture of the Python code to start it out. All right, so over here, I'm in PyCharm. This is my preferred editor. So you're going to want to start with the main.py file and a main.kv file and keep those names that's standard for when you're working with kivi. So in main.py is where all your logic will be and then your kv files will hold the, the interface. So the first thing you need to do always 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 with kivi is from kivi.app import app. That's the base class for your whole project and you're going to need to inherit that uh, in just a second. And then also you'll want to do from kivi dot lang import builder. Uh, the builder class will let you reference your kv file. Okay, so your GUI is like I said, referencing your kv file using builder. So builder dot load file main dot kv. Okay, perfect. So now let's get our main class going. I'll call it main app. Uh, and then you need to inherit kv's app. Don't forget it. And then you have to overwrite this build method from the Kivi's app class. Always got to do that. And then you return from the build method whatever your user interface is. So if I return a button from Kivi, it would just show a button. Or I can do return my GUI, which I just loaded in, and it'll return that. So then I just go ahead and instantiate my class and call the run method to start it. And what I have right now in my Kivi file is just, oops, that's for a little bit later, is a little grid layout with one column and a single button right now. So it's gonna say, hello world, when I start, okay? Bam, there we are, we have my one button. When I click it, you see it go. I can easily just add a second button here, just to show you, click me, and then maybe on release, so when I let go of the button click, it'll print, hi. I'll show you it works. Use so hello world, does nothing. Click me, you look in the bottom, there we are, printing high, perfect. Okay, so the architecture that I'm gonna use for my project will be having a, a folder for all of my KV user interface files. So I'll make a new directory right here. I'll call it KV, all right, perfect. And then in here, I'm gonna make a new KV file for each screen on my app, so maybe home screen will be one, home screen.kv. Okay, here I am. Um, in here, so my home screen will be a class that inherits from the screen manager package. There we are, it's got import screen. Perfect, okay, so my home screen will be a class that inherits from the Kivi screen. And I can just pass, I can just write pass here. Okay, because I'll define what's in the home screen using my home screen KV file. So here I am. And so I'll make my home screen guy. Okay, and this mat this matches what I have right here, okay? And also it's very important that when you load your, your interface file, it comes after all the class definitions, okay? So this really should be right before here, so you don't forget. So here's my home screen. And in my home screen, I'll just have a button that says, uh, you are at the home screen. OK? Perfect. Now in my main.kv file, I don't need these buttons anymore. But I do need a screen manager. So this is from. Uh, from Kivi's packages, so I don't need to like import anything here, it just knows it automatically. Okay, so screen manager, I'll give it an ID so I can reference this as like a variable later on. I'll just call it screen manager. Okay, and then I need to add a child to it or add a screen to my screen manager. So I can go ahead and put in my home screen, but home screen isn't anything that Kivi knows, that's something that I made. So what I need to do to import my, uh, my Kivi class, my KV file, is uh, include up here at the top. 
Then I can do home screen. Oh, whoops, sorry, because it's in the KV file, right? KV folder. Import KV slash home screen dot KV. All right. So now my screen manager will have a home screen in it, and the name should be home screen. That's let the, the screen manager knows how to switch to this guy. Okay. And then I'll give it an ID too, so I can reference it as a variable later. Uh, home screen. So since it's kind of confusing when to use the name, when to use the ID, whatever, if you just have them be the same, then you'll be okay. <laughs> so that's how I remember how to do it. Um, and then maybe we'll put in a, let's see, setting screen as well. Name will be settings underscore screen, ID, setting screen. Notice that ID does not need the quotes, but name does, okay? So right now setting screen, it doesn't know what that is either. So I will include kv slash setting screen dot kv, right? And now let me make one of those. So I'll just duplicate what I have in the home screen. So let's see, is there a duplicate thing here? Copy, paste. Okay, perfect. Setting screen dot kv, right? And now this is my setting screen. And the button will say, you are at the settings screen. And I just need to go ahead and write the base for it in here as well. <clears throat> okay, so what should happen now is I've defined my two screens. I'm gonna load my main.kv file. And my main.kv file uh, has these two screens in there. So let's go ahead and see what happens. You are at the home screen, okay? So it defaults to the first one in here. Now if I wanna change screens, I need to make a button to do that. So in my home screen, maybe I'll have something like this button here. So on release, uh, I will call my app. So my app right here will reference this guy, all right? So I can call functions and whatever I want from this class using this app word, okay? So I'll call app.change screen and I'll wanna go to the settings screen. So now I need to define this function, change screen, which will take one variable, the screen to go to. Okay, so let's try it out. Def change screen, that's what I call it, right? I need to include self and screen name. Okay, so here I need to uh, I need to get the screen manager from the KV file. So that's going to be in main.kv. Here's a screen manager, and here's his ID. Remember, I said that's how I'll reference him later. So let's see. The screen manager is self. Uh, I think it's root. IDs. Let's see. Let's see what this. Let's let's print this out and see if I'm doing it right. Print self .root IDs. Okay. So if I click the button in the home screen, I'm gonna print self .root IDs and we'll see what's in there. So here I am. Okay, I'm clicking it. Here are all the variables that I can access. So I can access my settings screen because I gave it this ID he ID here. Right, I can access the screen manager. Perfect. Okay, so when I'm saying self dot root here, this root guy is the main widget in my layout. So this is the root, the root widget, and I'm getting the, all the IDs from the root widget, which is screen manager, home screen, sorry, home screen there, and setting screen. You see, home screen is here. Okay, so. I can, this is this is a dictionary, so I can get the screen manager like this. Okay, so my screen manager is that one because I'm, I've am i got this, this guy right here. I'm taking him, he's the widget that I want. Okay, so then I'll do the screen manager dot current. So this is the current screen that's being displayed. And I'll change that to 
screen name. Okay, so dot current equals screen name means I'll change to whatever the screen name is here, and that screen name better match one of the names that I've got written here. So in my KV file for home screen, I said I want to go to the settings screen. Okay, so then in this change screen function, it says, okay, get the screen manager, change the current screen to screen name, which was setting screen, and it knows that this is setting screen. Okay, so let's try it out. You are at the home screen. You are at the settings screen. Wonderful. Okay, it works. And now I'll just make sure I can do the same thing with the settings screen. So we'll do on release here. Call my app. So remember, app references my main app class. <clears throat> okay, that's a special keyword. App dot change screen. Was that screens or screen? Change screen. Okay, I want to go to the home page. Okay, and you're at the home screen. Set in screen. Uh oh, something happened. No screen with name home screen. Oh, I call it home page. It's supposed to be screen. Home screen, setting screen, home screen again. Perfect. And you can do all sorts of fun stuff here with the screen manager, like screen manager dot transition. Okay. Oops. You can make this really fun stuff. Uh, looking at if you go to to the Kivi documentation, Kivi screen manager transitions. You can choose all sorts of different transition animations, as you see here. All right. So that's the that's going to be the main architecture. I'll do some more work here, and I'll come back when I've finished setting things up. All right. Thanks for watching.